let's just pop our freighter right outside the front door here. Wow, that's like right outside the front door. <laughs> um, you didn't hit the station, did you? We need to be a little. I'm gonna talk to my captain about being a little more careful about how he comes in. Holy smokes! And welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to uh, do some stuff that we need to do. Uh, before we move on to our, uh, our next major goal, which I think is going to go ahead and probably be getting back on the quest line. So uh, let me go over what I want to do. Um, first of all, we need to we need to get our <clears throat> we get we need to get some stuff upgraded and changed around. So if you watched the last episode, I got this S class, really cool S class uh, multi tool in that episode. This is what it came with, you know, just what it came with. Uh, but we have we need to get um, this all upgraded with the stuff because I imagine we're probably going to have this tool for quite some time, and so we need to do that. Uh, we also need to we're going to go back to our freighter, and I'm going to build storage units on the freighter itself, uh, so that we can expand you know the space for us to store things, of course. And um, but I don't know that I'm going to actually do any base building on this yet because um, I'm not sure if we're going to keep this for the long term or not. But we are definitely going to do the storage because it's my understanding that you know when you build the storage in this game, even if you you know take it down, all your stuff remains in there. You can get it back later. Uh, so that's the thing we need to do. Uh, also on our freighter, I have my other S-class explorer ship that has more slots than the hauler. So we're going to switch over to that ship and get it. Um, all decked out too with all the stuff that we need um, mostly because here again it has more space and then we'll probably just keep the hauler in the parked in the in the ship for the time being let's see I think we're in pretty good shape uh, you know with our suit itself there are still definitely more upgrades that we can put on here we do have maxed out slots um, so, you know, we'll be, we'll be watching for stuff like that when we hit space stations and so forth, but, uh, we're, we're not in bad shape on this suit itself. So that's kind of where we are, guys, with the stuff that we need to, to upgrade. Now, what we're going to do, uh, to start off with here, though, is that we are, uh, here at this crash freighter, and I need ionized cobalt and pure ferrite in order to open up the containers, which I don't believe I have either of. We do have ferrite that we can turn into pure ferrite quite easily so we'll make ourselves a uh, we'll make ourselves a refiner for that. This we can put into the freighter. Let's do that and yeah so what we gotta do is we gotta make ourselves a uh, a refiner and then I'm gonna have to go find a cave somewhere to get you know just enough cobalt you know to open these bins so that's the, that's the first thing on the agenda for today. Okay, so let's do this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And, uh, yeah, let's get started here. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is uh, let's get a refiner built. We'll do that over here. I have a beacon down here and a base computer. This is the system that I found that S-Class tool in. So uh, when we get to the point where we can actually, you know, get addresses when we start doing portals and that sort of thing, um, if you guys are interested in this location, just let me know. Uh, okay, so let's go here. And we need... I think just one plating and some oxygen and that should be good enough to make the uh, portable refiner which is right here okay so let's set him down there load him up with some carbon and we're get and we need um, uh, we need pure ferrite let's go take a look and see again how many we need because usually all these containers are the same at each site. So we need 10 pure... Oh, say, so, okay, so we don't need very, very many. So there's usually five or six of these. So let's just assume six. So we're going to need 300 ionized cobalt and 60 pure ferrite. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Not a problem. Let's hop back in our ship so we're not overheating here. And what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, what did I say, 60? So we're going to need 120 of these. So let's see, move and stack, 120. Whoop. 
Okay, and move those over to our our bag. Oh, well, I guess I had some there. Let's move this back to the ship then. Okay, so we'll get that cooking up while we go on the hunt for a little bit of cobalt here. Uh, main reason why I want to get into these ships is because we have a chance of finding uh, frigate modules, which we need to upgrade our, our freighter. Uh, plus, you can find, you know, other decent stuff in there, too, but it's mostly those frigate modules that I'm after. Okay, let's do a scan here, and uh, we need to find a cave. Let's see here. Those are the cargo bins that we'll, we'll have to go after later. There's a knowledge stone. Oh, you know what? There's one other big thing we need to do, too. Now that I think about it. And we need to do all of our quests that we stacked up so that we can get our... Uh, we can get our nanites. You know, that actually could be a cave right there. Let's go take a look. Weird floating worm things. Sure enough, that looks like a cave to me. Alright, so... That should be cobalt. Humming sack. Okay. Yeah, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mine up a bunch of this stuff. How come that's not mining? Uh, I don't know. And, oh, this isn't much of a cave, is it? <laughs> Bam. Oh, come on, man. Well, um, okay. That humming sack is going to be in a cave too, most likely. So we we'll probably just need to burrow through here. Whoops. Uh, let's get this out and we'll switch to our... Oh, shit. I haven't built a... I haven't built a train manipulator yet on this thing. Doggone it. Can we scan that thing? Uh -uh. All right. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do then. I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to go build a train ma manipulator. And then go get all the, the cobalt I need. And then once I have everything together, I will come back... And we'll open up these containers and see what they have inside. Okay, so don't go away. Okay, guys. Uh, we're back. I've got uh, uh, cobalt uh, cooking up in there for uh, ionized cobalt. And then we also have in our inventory uh, some ionized cobalt already. And we've got some pure ferrite. So this should be enough uh, to allow us to open at least the first few of those. Also, um, I, while I was waiting for all that stuff, I installed a few more things in the multi-tool. Uh, so I installed the survey device, but I put it in the wrong place. So I have to finish installing that, and then I'm going to move it over by the scanners. We got the advanced drill installed. The optical drill is partially installed. The force field is partially installed. And I think that's all we did uh, so far for that. We got the terrain manipulator done, too. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop in here. How is it that that... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just had a little... How is it that that's back? I thought I knocked that thing down. That's weird. Um, maybe... It must, like, you know, regenerate or something. Okay, here we go. So let's fix this. Then we grab whatever's in here, and then we run the hell out of here real quick because of the fact that that thing does a radiation thing. And it's nasty. An antimatter housing. That's all we got out of that. Really? Thanks. Thanks, freighter. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, let's just, let's put our light on so we can see what the hell we're doing in here. Okay. Weapon charge depleted. What? Okay. I kind of don't like the long weapons in VR because of the... They can get a little weird sometimes. Okay, so mining beam. Advanced carbon. Okay. So let's bust that open. I think we'll run out of this one. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, run, 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 run. That kind of happened all in one... One fell swoop there. I'm not even sure what, what we just got out of that. What was that? Here, put, put it away, put it away. We got a... 
A polyfiber. Craft from cactus, flesh, and star bulbs. Okay. Well, it's worth 130,000 units. Okay, so those were the easy ones. Now we're going to have to... Uh, I don't know why I have that pyrite. Now we're going to have to dig for the other ones. So let's get our analyzer out. Um, there's going to be one down here. Let's dig for that one first. Uh, looks like... It's just right on in here, but we are going to have to go down in the ground to get to it there. Okay. Alright, grab whatever's in there and get the hell out of here. 58,000 credits, okay. 58,000 credits is not... Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's see, where else do we got one? We got a technology module, we might as well grab that one since it's nearby. Alright, let's tag that one there. And we want to get at it from over here, I think. I haven't done enough of these yet to know exactly where the best positioning is to get to them, so... Is that... yeah, okay, that's inside of there. So we'll just jet our way out of here. much time before that radiation will kill us, so I just want to make sure I got a nice clear path out of here. That should be good enough. Okay, here we go. Fix it. And, oh shit! I didn't even open it, it just did it on its own. Whew, that was close. <laughs> Sometimes it's like it just, it opens it automatically. It's just really weird. Okay, let's mark that one next. And that one is actually quite a ways over there, so let's go through here. I think this is the one we can get to from the top. So we just need to come this way and dig down this. Yep, right there. Look at that. Did it again, see that? New item. Okay, good. Salvage frigate module. That's exactly what we came here for. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I was hoping we'd get at least one of those. Alright, let's see. Are there any more pods? Yeah, there's one over there. Oh, okay. Let's mark it. No, not pulpy roots. Roots. There we go. All right. Huh? Where's this one at? Oh, that's easy enough. Okay. Cannot build. Oh, we need five ionized cobalt. No problem. We got that right on over here. Here, let's do a, a save while I'm here, too. Okay. I ducked just as if that thing was going to hit me right in the head. In real life. Fifty-six thousand and point nine units. Okay. All right. I think that's it for the pod.
pods, right? Is that it for the pods? Looks like it, yeah. That's a pirate deposit over the side of the cliff there. What's that thing? Organic rock. Got a couple of knowledge stones. Uh, might as well grab that buried technology module. Well, that's actually a little ways out there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to mess with that right now. Okay, so we uh, are done here. And so we're going to pick this up. Let's uh, do one more manual save and hop in our ship. Looks like I'm off center a little bit. No, actually, I'm off center in real life. <laughs> uh, okay, let's take off. So I think the next thing we're going to do, guys, we're going to go back to our freighter. Because uh, I do have some supplies on the freighter that we can use for our upgrades. And then uh, we'll take a look and see what we need. For... Whoa, shit. Uh, for making the... Um, what am I trying to say? For making the, the storage bins in the freighter. We might as well go to the space station so we're nearby in case we need to use the space station. And uh, what, so the next goal here is to make, uh, to build all the storage containers on the freighter so we have more room to put all of our crap and to continue upgrading whatever we can with the supplies that we have. So I, I purchased a few extra, uh, you know, of the sodium diode doohickeys, the salt doohickeys and the cobalt doohickeys, you know, all the stuff that you need to build stuff. We probably better get a few more, um, we might need some more wiring limbs too. And so, you know, we can keep a little bit of a stock of those, so when we do need to upgrade stuff, we have it. So that's next on the agenda. Almost there. That's a cool looking space station. All right. Let's just pop our freighter right outside the front door here. Wow, that's like right outside the front door. <laughs> um, you didn't hit the station, did you? You need to be a little. I'm gonna talk to my captain about being a little more careful about how he comes in. Holy smokes! That is uh, <laughs> that's really close. <laughs> he didn't leave much room, did he? I guess he knows what he's doing. I hope so. I hope he knows what he's doing. Okay, let's get flipped around here and go on inside. So yeah, like I said, we'll uh, we'll see what we have uh, in the way of supplies for our, our upgrades. Get our storage bins built, and we want to start working on getting our little Explorer uh, S-class ship uh, kitted out so we can start using it. Um, alright, so, let's look at this for a second. Lots of things to do. Lots of fun stuff to do. I guess I didn't need to actually climb in here, but... Yeah, so this has a lot more slots than the other one. I think it has something like eight or nine more slots than the other one does. And it already comes with a phase beam and ablative armor installed, which is cool. And it probably had, you know, being as how it is an Explorer class ship, it probably has a, a higher base hyperdrive range, I think. I don't know that for sure, though. I'm not sure about that. So, anyway, okay, so we're going to work on getting this guy. I really like this cockpit, too. This is cool. Uh, getting this guy upgraded. So that's one of several things that we need to do. That handle pushes in. I can't reach the other one down here because my mixer board's in the way. Okay, let's go up here. No, not there. This way. I always think that when I go up these stairs, I'm going up the back of the ship. It's actually going up towards the front of the ship. Well, it's going up towards the bridge, I guess is what I should say, not the front of the ship. I really, really do like this freighter. You know, the only reason why we're not going to do a base on it immediately is simply because we might come across something even better and I don't want to have a big old base built up and then lose everything. So we may not do anything extensive base-wise other than storage until we have a uh, 
a, a larger freighter, probably an S-Class. Okay, so let's see here. We need to go into our inventory, and I want to see if we have enough stuff to finish these installations. Sodium diode. Oh, so I guess I have to pull those out of the freighter's inventory into mine. That's weird. You'd think it, since I'm on the freighter, I'd just be able to use it. Exosuit. Apparently, that's not how it works. Okay. So now we should be able to finish installing that. Okay, that's good. And we want to move this over to here because that's all scanner related stuff. Let's actually see what that uh, what difference that makes. So right now we're at 197.4 and if we put this here we're now at 205. Okay, so we get a little bit of a bonus by doing that. Okay, the optical drill needed the diodes and the salt refactors and s four more wiring limbs. Okay, so let's go, whoops, back here. We want to grab the looms, put those in our suit, and uh, salt refractor too, right? Uh, freighter, yeah. Those are right there. Okay, now we should be able to finish installing this. Beautiful. Okay, so we have our optical drill back, our advanced mining is back. Those three are connected. Uh, we don't have... Um, we, we have the ability to install uh, a pulse spitter, but I don't have the uh, deuterium to do that. And I believe I have to make a large refiner, or the normal size refiner as opposed to the portable one, um, to make that. So what we might do in the meanwhile is just go with a bolt caster. So we have something that's a little more longer range than just the uh, the scatter blaster because we we're, we're going to have to kill critters and we're going to have to kill um, sentinels for our uh, our quests. And then we'll also install this uh, barrel ionizer next to it. So that's going to need some glass. Don't we have some glass in here? Look at that, we got some glass in there. How about that? What do you know? What do you know? It's almost as if I planned it that way. Oh, we need four pieces of glass. Okay, well, we can make that easy enough when the time comes. All right, so uh, I want to focus now on getting all of our storage built. So to do that, uh, let's go into our build menu. And we want to go to freighter. And we want to go to tech and storage. Okay, so this requires magnetized ferrite and sodium to build these things. Alrighty, let's look in our inventory. I think we have some sodium. Ah, oh, shit, I switched to the other starship. Doggone it, I shouldn't have done that. All right, I gotta go back down and get the, the sodium off of our off of our hauler. Let's start by installing the storage on these front panels here, I guess. Uh, do we want to do that, though? I mean, if we actually ended up making a base out of here, it might be better to put the storage on the over on this side. Just trying to think how I want to do this. If we wanted to install the uh, just the rooms to expand this, that takes silver and tritium. What's this thing? Huh. Maybe that's a do not build beyond this point 
type of scenario. So this probably needs to be... I don't know how we would open that up. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just start over uh, up against the wall here then. And... I don't know what that number two means. Oh, we can build into this wall too. I'm I'm wondering. Okay, what 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 happens though if we build into the room where the stairs are? How in the hell do we get back up here? Or maybe it doesn't let us do that. Okay, I guess it doesn't let us do that. How far forward this way can we build? Looks like all the way to that point. There. Okay, then if that's the case, uh, what am I missing? Silver. Really? We're that low on silver? All right, hold on a sec. Let's take a look. I thought we had a bunch of silver in our freighter. I guess we don't have a bunch of silver in the freighter. <sighs> well, damn it. What I wanted to do was uh, remove that wall and then just put all of the storage down along this wall all the way down. However, we can only do 10 anyway. So maybe what we'll do... This must just be a thing we can, like, take off the wall. Now, I want to do this right, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna go get some silver. Okay, guys, we're, we're about out of time in this episode anyway. So, let me go... Let me go farm up some silver. And, um... Then what we're gonna do uh, uh, here? In fact, I'll tell you what. I'll show you. I'll show you what we're gonna do here. Let's go back into the build menu, uh, to tech, to storage, and I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the uh, the zero storage unit behind this corner after I build this other room, and so that means we can put storage one right here, just like that. And I think. I think that must, that must be a decoration. Can, can we just, like, delete that? So if we go A... Yeah, okay. That's just deco stuff. Um, so, yeah, basically it's just going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way down the line there. I know I can go further back this way, too. I'm not sure how much further back that way I can go. Look at that. We can see the space station down there. That's really cool. But uh, we'll just start with that one row. And, I can, you know, I can always move this stuff later, too, if I need to. Yeah, there goes the timer. All right, I do want to look at something, though. So if we open that up, there it is. Okay, so that's the stuff that was in the storage of our original... Uh, of our original freighter. And so when we sold the freighter, you know, the freighter went away, but we still have the storage. Oh, it's really cool. They got the bins and everything in here, too. I didn't even notice that before. So anyway... Uh, yeah, let's wrap up this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Um... Also, consider sharing out the video on your social media and leaving a comment. All those things do help, and I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll catch you in the next one, and we're just going to keep working on stuff. Uh, it is my my more uh, primary goal uh, to get back going on the questing as soon as possible. But I just want to get some stuff set up. You know, get our upgrades done, get our freighter set up, uh, get this ship uh, all kitted out before uh, we get too serious about the quest. and uh, um, I'm sorry, yeah, about the main quest line. I also need to turn in all those missions, too, so we might even do that in the next episode. We'll just have to see how things go. But I'm going to go uh, farm up a bunch of silver, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.